Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate marginal revenue product. So here's the setup. A hair salon offers haircuts in a perfectly competitive market at a price of $20. This hair salon hires barbers in a competitive labor market at a weekly wage of $500. What we want to do is solve for the marginal revenue product and determine the profit maximizing number of barbers to hire. Here's going to be the table that we're going to eventually want to fill in. Here are the number of barbers this hair salon can hire. Here we have the total number of haircuts per week with hiring one barber, two barbers, and so on. We're going to solve for marginal product. The price of the haircut is given at $20. Uh, we're going to solve for marginal revenue product. And the weekly wage, as we mentioned up here, is $500 for each barber hired. So some background. Marginal revenue product equals the marginal product, the increase in output from hiring one more worker, multiplied by the price that the firm sells its product for. And in abbreviations, MRP is going to be the marginal revenue product or marginal revenue product of labor. MP is the marginal product, and P is the product's price, in this case, the price of a haircut. The marginal revenue product, in words, is the change in total revenue from hiring one more worker or the marginal revenue of an additional worker. So the idea we hire another worker, that worker produces some stuff for the firm, and that firm then sells that stuff and our revenue increases. So in just a numerical example, if we're hiring the third worker and hiring the third worker increases output by six units, if the firm can sell each unit of output for $100, the marginal revenue product for the third worker is $600. The marginal product, six times the product's price of 100 the hiring rule to find the optimal number of workers to hire in order to maximize profit. We're going to keep hiring workers up until the point that the marginal revenue product of the last worker equals the wage that we pay that last worker. So marginal revenue product equals the wage. All right, so here's our table. Uh, the first thing I did with this table is I calculated marginal product. So marginal product is just going to be the change in output from hiring one more worker. So if we have no barbers, we're not going to be producing any haircuts. So when we hire the first barber, the number of haircuts that can be produced in a week is 40, and that's just a marginal product of the first barber. If we now hire a second barber, the increase in haircuts is going to be 75 minus 40, or 35 additional haircuts per week. So once again, hiring this second barber increases the output of this firm, the number of haircuts, by 35, 75 minus 40. By hiring the third worker, the number of haircuts increases by 30. We go from 75 to 105, a 30-unit increase. And likewise, when we hire the fourth worker, the total output of haircuts increases by 25, 130 minus 105, and we can see that the marginal product of the fifth worker is 20. Okay, so just 150 minus 130. All right, the next thing we want to do is to get marginal revenue product. And marginal revenue product is going to be, as I mentioned in the earlier slide, it's just going to be marginal product times price. So we can just take these two columns and multiply them together. So, so 40 times 20 is 800. 35 times 20 is 700. 30 times 20 is 600, and so on. So that's the marginal revenue product. It's the increase in total revenue from hiring an additional worker. And lastly, how many workers should this firm hire? Well, the firm should keep hiring workers so long as the marginal revenue product is greater than the wage, and it should stop hiring workers right at the point where the marginal revenue product of the last worker just equals the wage. So we could do this by trial and error. Do we want to hire the first worker? Yes, that first worker adds more to revenues than that worker adds to cost. 800 is bigger than 500. Do we want to hire the second worker? Yes, by hiring the second worker, this 
this worker is adding more to the firm's revenue than this worker is adding to costs. Do we want to hire the third worker? Yes, 600 is greater than 500. And we're going to hire right up to this last worker. We're going to hire the fourth worker. Our revenues go up by $500. Our cost, given by the wage, goes up by $500. And this is our stopping point. We don't want to hire beyond four workers. If we were to hire the fifth worker, our profit would fall. By hiring the fifth worker, our revenues would go up by only 400 our costs would go up by more, and we'd be reducing our total profit. So the optimal number of workers to hire here is four, where marginal revenue product equals wage. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.